Hello everyone, this is Oliver from NEO and today we are going to look, look about or look into what is Shincha or understanding Shincha versus a normal Sencha. So for this I have brought the Shincha 2019 Shincha of Mr. Watanabe and I also have his normal Sencha from the first pick, so both teas first pick teas. But uh, we're going to have a look into these two teas and see the taste difference. Shincha, as some of you might know, is the really first harvest or initial harvest, spring harvest in the, um, in the season of tea while we talk on the rest on the Ichiban, so the general first harvest. So here with the Shincha, the farmer picks the very small and very first leaves of the season. They are often the finest top ones, while uh, the Sencha englobes a little bit more of leaves, more of the, uh, also still the top leaves, but there we talk maybe about the top five leaves, while with the Shincha we really talk about the top three leaves and the really first pick. Just already to have a look, how um, the difference of these teas so there's a very very slight difference what you can see so the shincha is slightly a little bit darker so it's a little bit more close to the kabuse it seems also that this one here has seen a little bit more light and this one is really darker a little bit more shaded seeing a little bit less light just before the harvest but uh, never the, nevertheless the tea are very, very similar as it is the same farmer, as it is the same year and the same harvest. So this is a tea which is um, pretty close to each other. But I want to see if the Shincha, so the very first harvest or the general first harvest of the Sencha, what is the taste difference and how do they differ when I brew them. Good, then let's go directly into the brewing. Um, we just take Sencha here and Shincha here, put them together. Same amount of water, I would say 150 milliliters. I just checked that I really used the same amount of water. Voila, and another one. Good. Just fill them up. Here I need a little bit more water to be on the same same quantity. Good. So I use the 60 degrees Celsius water. This is around 140 degrees Fahrenheit. I really like personally when the water is colder um, and not so hot, so not close to 175 Fahrenheit or 80 degrees. Um, as you get more the astringent note, a little bit more of the bitter particles into the water. But here, as uh, also Mr. Watanabe is looking, that he, he gets or the, he, he keeps the tea very close to its original state. It has a little bit more of a fresher note and a slight more the tendency to get on higher temperatures, a little bit more in the astringency. So when you do this one here, if you go even a little bit below 60 degrees, it's a fantastic tea. Um, I like 60 degrees as it is still warm. So it's still a hot sensation when you drink the tea, but it's not too hot to make the tea bitter. You just leave it in for one minute. This is uh, all you have to do. And then you pour it already into the cup. I believe here we are already done. So let's pour this. Good. So, Shencha, Shencha. Try to get out all the drops that there's no after brewing and same with the shincha so we can already see in terms of cloudiness of the water the sencha shows a little bit more of the grassy tones while the shincha seems to be slightly clearer
good. So, just to have a comparison here, slightly more greenish and here literally slightly more golden. So then let's go into the tasting. There's kind of a deeper sweetness with this one here in the nose. Here a little bit the lighter sweetness, a little bit more freshness. So trying the Shincha now. So what I can feel a lot is a smooth sweetness. There's a little bit of the sweet corn taste, a little bit of uh, artichoke, so a little bit this greenish, slight spinachy ta taste profile, but a lot of smoothness and even a little bit of creaminess, a little bit of nuttiness, which I can feel with this tea. And let's go for the Sencha to have a comparison. So it seems a little bit more tanninic, a little bit more freshness in the beginning. So tanninic meaning a little bit more of a dry flavor, while here it seems that there's a really strong smoothness and a little bit more of a of kind of this nuttiness in it. While here we get really, a now in the aftertaste, I really get more freshness in my palate. So somehow in there's a development of a, a stronger, fresh note while he the sweetness was more dominant so it seems that like the first harvest like the more finer sweeter and a little bit of a rounder and a little bit like um, denser notes are uh, developing with the shincha while the sencha really has the time to develop like this grassy more grassy freshness um, even though the tea is still very sweet, there's more of a grassy and a fresher tone with the tea. So this is really the main difference what I can see now from the first brewing. Mm. It's really this first note is much more grassy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really the main difference. So the teas are pretty close still, but here you really got a more of a round sweet sweetness and also smoothness, not too much freshness. And here you really have this special fresh kick coming also. And um, the sweetness is not so strong than with the other one, but both of them don't show any astringency at this uh, the temperature, which is pretty nice. Always get all the drops out of your Kyusu. And second brewing, still there's a more greenish color to the Sencha and the Shincha with a little bit more of a yellow tone. Mm -hmm. Still very sweet. There's a little bit more now also freshness to this one here. So this is the main difference. It's really like this one here shows much more of a fresh tone, much more of a fresh note, while this one here has keeps longer this smooth and sweetness. So I can some nearly sense that that here's a little bit more of a of a theanine, or um, there's there's even more there, there's a little bit more of theanine, or um, there's a little bit less also of this catechin, so a little bit of this bitter particles but due to the fact that the tea carries a, lo a lot of amino acids making the tea sweet you don't have a bitter note coming out so more a little bit of a fresher slightly drier tone but still um, 
but still uh, more on the grass in smooth side than uh, really on the dry side so a uh, very nice uh, experience of tasting the tea and savoring the tea without getting sometimes you have the feeling when you have a little bit of especially lower grade tea that you have this uh, dry mouth sensation um, here it's definitely not the case but here is just a little inch little hint of more freshness as of more grassiness to the tea while here you get a lot of the smooth and sweetness um, but both tea very very uh, nice to drink and here you really see that this first pick gives kind of a more of a, of a youth fine sweet delicacy or delicateness to the tea and here we got really um, a more fresher a more developed um, really summer fresh tea um, having here the sencha versus the shicha on this side okay this is already it i thank you a lot for being part of this video and if you ever have a question don't hesitate to get in contact with us have a great day bye